Moses, ¿verdad? Ok. No. Okay. Hey. Okay. Uh, let's just warm up with uh, what we've been covering with the drill, going from high mobile to low stable and uh, moving in between. Okay. So remember the first one, you're just going to, uh, we can practice first, just stepping in with that front foot and punching. Okay. And remember, uh, I like to keep that front foot pointed. 45 degrees when I punch. Okay. If I my goal is to just go in just to punch and get back out, I like to point at 45. But if I want to turn my back foot over, you can still get a good rotation here. Okay. But you get better rotation. You'll see the difference when I pivot my foot here. I might my hip kind of stops from turning, but here I can get a little extra inch. So if I, I always say, you know, in a fight, inches a mile. Okay, so that first one, we're just going in, boom, boom, okay. Also, one more important point. If your goal is to simply just stick them with the jab and go back, you can just move that foot straight, okay. But you can also move it out here too if you're trying to faint that right hand. A, a, a savvy opponent's gonna see that foot stepping out, so they might be working and thinking about that right hand. So that's one way you can set up that right hand, okay. So let's go from there. Come on, Frankie. Ready? Okay, just going in with our front foot. Ready? Each. Ni. Ta. Chi. Go. Ro. Si. Touch. Two. Two. Other way. Each. Ni. Ta. Chi. Go. Ro. Si. Touch. Two, two, good. Okay, this way again. And now uh, a drill you can work is going in, punching, and then both feet go back, okay? So each, pulling both feet back. Knee, top, chi, lift that back foot. Go, throw, reach, touch. Two, two. Okay, so you notice when you do this, you sometimes you're gonna feel like you're pulling that. I did it a couple times, I pulled that front foot back, okay? You wanna push off that front foot. So here, lift, both feet go back, all right? Try the other way. Okay, come over here. Each, knee, sun, chi. Go, go, sit, touch, two, two, good. Okay, we make this way. Okay, next one. Now, make sure this front foot goes in diagonal and point that toe ahead, okay, for the rotation of that backhand, just like you're basically you're going in on this one, you're going into Zenkutsu, just like we're doing Taiko Gushoda. You're going into Zenkutsu stance, and then from there, just rotating and back, and you're pulling the front foot back for the first part of the move. Ready? Each, and back. Ni, ta, chi, go, ro, si, hach, ku, ju, Make sure you can see it from 
from this side, pulling this hand back to your chin, okay? Not to your chest, right? Okay, same thing. Here we go. Each, me, son, she, go, row, seach, touch, cue, do, good. Okay, switch sides again. Okay, now we're going to step back with the back foot, okay? You want to get more head movement and get your head offline, foot goes diagonal. But for this one, we're, we're doing something just coming struck and straight, and we're going to spear them on, with, our, with our Kizami, okay? So there, our stability and base on that back leg is going to give power to our technique because it's going to be firm and strong, and it's going to come from a stable base. So that person who is rushing in, they get speared by your technique. So instead of thinking getting velocity here, you're going to let their forward momentum as power to your technique, okay? So we're stepping back, ready, each, knee. You want the punch to land at the moment you're sinking down, okay? Side, she, turn that back foot 90 degrees when you land to. Go, row, seach, touch, cue, cue, good. Other way, each, Knee, stop, she, go, row, seat, touch, cue, cue, good. Turn again. Okay, now, same thing, we're gonna add that Kizami Yaku, but instead of stepping straight back this time, boom, boom, okay, you're gonna step a little bit diagonal, so you're widening that stance. So then right from here, you can just pin it on the ball of the foot, okay? This is kind of complicated. I don't want to go too deep into it for you guys, make it too confusing. But if you watch my feet, okay, if I can go straight back and I have a narrow stance now, if I want to go gyaku, I pivot on the heel and the toe. That's why we do this all the time. Just working on being able to move different parts of each boot at the same time, okay? So again, Stepping straight back, boom. And then when I punch, I pivot on the heel, drive the energy. I want my feet shoulder width stance so I have good stability, both laterally, but also so I have a good drive forward, okay? If I step my foot back to get off line and slip, now I pivot on the toes as I punch. So I don't want to pivot on the heel and then have too wide of a stance here. Okay, I'm a little spread out. I'm gonna lose a little bit of stability lose a little bit of power in my technique. So, in this one, okay, we go back, each, knee, punch, and come back. Again, so you're working your way back if you do this drill the right way. Okay, each, knee, and come back. Okay, each, knee, and come back, okay? Like I said yesterday in the class, you don't have to pull that front foot back after you do, I just like to get a little bit of space and get ready to be mobile and active so I can keep moving. You can step into the person with the back leg, boom, boom. Like I said, they fruity likes. You can step it just a little bit, boom, boom, and then up, and now you're right there, ready to jam, okay? So it just depends on what your goal is and what your personal preference is. Okay, again, each, knee, and back. Each, knee, and back. Each, knee, and back. Good, okay? Try a couple more times and we'll all one count. Ready, go. Go. Teach. Touch. Good, okay, other way. Maybe I ran out of the room there. What's up? Okay, same thing. Each, knee, and back. Good, and so when you slide that front foot back, get it back online for that high mobile stance heel toe position, so you have that ability to go in and out, okay? Remember, the more narrow you, your feet are, or the more straight line your feet are, the more geared you are to fighting on that straight line. That's the, uh, the karate fighters, point fighters who, who just go for points, tend to fight with their feet right here. The more full contact guys are more squared up because they're working for more power in their techniques, and also for moving laterally, okay? So, 
we try to find that happy medium with the heel toe stance so that you do have lateral movement and forward and back movement you kind of leave all options on the table so when you go back boom and then you put pivot on the heels and punch now watch so i'm, I'm moving if i'm doing this drill straight on it's going boom 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 i'm, I'm gradually moving diagonally this way as I bring that stance back. Let's do it from this angle here so you guys can see it. Okay, ready? Each, knee, and come back. 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 Okay, I want to count now. We'll just do it five times. Each, knee, tuck, she, go. Good, and you're working your way off screen. Okay, good, let's uh, switch guys out, and then we'll jump into the basics, and we're gonna cover some technical details for the basics. Won't be as much in workout today as we're used to. That's okay, you guys have all been pretty much tuning in this class every day. We don't wanna tax you guys too much. Okay, come up right in line with me. Feet together, knee circles. Other way. Hips. Away. Turn the head. Each. Knee. Sun. Cheek. Go. Go. Teach. Touch. Skip. Shoot. Big circles. Sorry, hands are getting hips. Way. Hey, now uh, keep together. Toes out. Put your toes up. Put down the toes. Each. Knee. Tuck. Teach. Go. Go. Teach. Touch. Two. Good. Okay. Now, uh, feet out wide. Keep your your head. Lean back. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Okay. Do wider. Lean on the ground. At the same time, don't try to reach fast as soon as you can. Each knee, thumb, cheek, go, go, seat, touch, cue, cue, okay. Heels flat, knee down, on the way. Roll up, chest. Knee. Slow motion back break ball. Away. Okay. Rotate. Lift your hips. You get good rotation so you can inside and outside with your knees. Ready? Each, knee, cheek, go, 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 stitch, touch, two, two, other way. Each, knee, tuck, cheek, go, go, stitch, touch, two, two, three. Elbow, knee connection, good turn. Other way, rotate on your shoulders, rock those feet up in the air. Remember, this good self defense application of lifting back so you can kick up at somebody's face. Up kick an extremely powerful technique. If you find yourself on the ground, somebody's standing ahead on top of you trying to hit you in the face, up kick will end that fight. Okay, now rotate by pushing off. I right, get at least 180 degrees. Other way, elbow knee connection, stay there. Okay, rolling up the shoulder, coming up, 
<laughs> right arm forward. Same time, left arm backwards. Other way. Left arm forward, right arm backwards. Good. Okay. Heels, toes, heels, toes, heels, toes. Other way. Opposites. Good. Ground picture P. Okay, so before, so that we can keep the sweat going and uh, keep it moving, I'm going to review the, the important points of each technique and then we'll just get it going and get, get a nice sweat going, get some exercise in. First things first, good ish and fist. Fingers in all the way first, thumb goes on top of that second knuckle on the index finger. This is very common. This is a different technique. It's called Ippon Ken. You have to condition your hand for this. This is not the way you want to punch. You want to punch here with this pulled in as much as you can so that you're making contact with only these two knuckles right here. When you're punching, you start with the pinky finger right on your IT band so where most people wear their belt. Mine's just my, wear my belt a little higher than average. So my pinky finger goes actually just below my belt. Elbows stay tight to the body when you punch. Shoulders down, scrape it along the side. Target is the floating rib from the side, here, okay? And then to get a little extra power, little rotation, okay? When we're stepping in and doing Seiken Zuki, you're gonna rotate the shoulders so they're in line with your feet because your feet are staggered, right? So you want your shoulders in line with your feet, that gives you a little more extension than a completely squared up punch. So here, okay? Back shoulder in line my back heel, the stance, shoulder width, okay? Even high ranks, brown belts, black belts, always continue to work on your stances, check in your stances. Circle step in, I'm gonna circle step in. So I'm a heel toe position. So my heel of my front foot is in line with the big toe of my back foot. I like a little wider than shoulder stance, face on stance, because that transfers right into my fighting stance, okay? This is actually a shoulder shoulder width stance, but I like to go so my feet are sitting on the outside of my shoulders. That way I can get a good drop down and feel good and stable too. So my feet will narrow. I don't feel as stable right here. So, other foot, circle step in, heel toe position. Both feet are pointed straight ahead. The most common error you see is that back foot pointed out. He has it now. Hey, I wanna see both feet straight ahead so that back hip is in the fight, okay? Uh, that's. Taking oizuki, stepping in, shoulders in line with the feet, okay? Slight extension. Next one is jodan oizuki. Same footwork. You're gonna punch up, through to the top of the head, and then back down. So your tricep is one fist away from your rib cage right here. I can put my fist in there to check, okay? My hand should be on the center line here, okay? Not out here after I recoil the punch here. Elbow in front of the ribs, not back here. Out here, okay? Next one, Gyakuzuki. Chudan Gyakuzuki. Similar to Oizuki, the major difference is I'm punching off my back foot side, which means I have more power because I have other distance to travel and driving off that back leg. Punching out here, okay? This one, our shoulders go opposite. Our feet make a line this way, our shoulders rotate so that they make a cross. So if the position of our feet and position of our shoulders line up, it's an X, okay? Again, I step in, keep the legs bent. Don't do straight-legged basics, okay? Same uh, with Jodan Oizuki, okay? Stepping in, shoulders making X with the feet, okay, goes up, and back down, just in front, okay? Next one, Geiran Barai, Seigenzuki. In, for beginners, you teach catch, step it down. More advanced, we're stepping in while just bringing the hand back and down. And you're gonna throw that hand down, use the dropping of your energy, or your dropping of your weight, to create energy and momentum to the technique, okay? Then, Gyakuzuki, same punch we just covered, shoot on Gyakuzuki. Again, you're gonna 
Bring the hands back, step down, hook, punch, okay? Next one, Chudan Uke. Same thing, hand comes across, goes out and back in. So my sensei calls this a J block. It takes J motion there. Make sure the elbow is canted inward, hand slightly, so the form is slightly tilted out rather than being straight here, okay? Same, Kyakuzuki. Again, step in, J block, punch. Next one, Hekata Barai. Okay. Open hand, sweeping block. Open your hand, you're gonna turn the hand over to prepare for the block. Okay, so you open the hand, stepping in, same thing, circular motion, drops down, hand is tilted out, okay, you're right, punch, okay. open, stepping in, circle black, so it goes out to cover the face, and back down, punch, okay? This one is good for grabbing too, you can block the technique and then grab it afterwards. Last one, IUK, Seikenzuki, you're gonna bring the hand back, okay, here, stepping in, I'll do the other side, Stepping in, upper block, punch. Same as I said before, it, it's a fluid motion, so stepping in, upper block, punch. You're bringing it across to make sure that when it goes up, it checks the whole body. More advanced, you can step in and go right from there, okay? We teach this to some more beginners, so make sure you have good clearance of the face so you're not gonna miss the block. Go here, it's out, but as you get more proficient, it's okay to throw it straight from your belt, okay? So those are the basic uh, blocks and punches. For the kicks, just make sure, uh, my gay, you get the knee up as high as you can. Okay, good knee chamber. Try pulling your toes up as much as you can. I know my big toe doesn't pull very high. Okay, that's okay. If you get it enough, even if the big toe makes contact first, it will give as the ball of foot drives into the, into the target. So, up. Kick the foot straight and back. Don't do this and don't kick up, okay? High knee chamber and then in. Leo, no, not a good idea. None next to me, get off that. Okay, Yoko Gitty or Shoba Gitty, popping into a good catch stance and now it's just a my Gitty from the front there, okay? Dropping your weight, pivoting on the heel, just like the hands, uh, knee on and up. Okay, good catch stance and then kick, come back. Yoko Gitty, up. Knee is not in front, it's a 45. Foot, toes are flexed up. You're kicking with the blade edge of the foot. Okay, you're gonna kick out and back. Okay, more advanced, you can put the hips into it by rotating the foot. From here, you're gonna, you're gonna raise it up, kick out and back, okay? And then, uh, Sandan Maigiri, belt, chest, face high. Those are your targets, hold yourself to those targets, okay? Don't, the common one is people kick low, and then they gradually go higher. No, I want to see you going belt, chest, face high. Belt, chest, face high. Belt, chest, face high. Okay? Then and make sure you work on the retraction and snapping faster. My giddy or shiro giddy. Front kick, back kick, pull it back strongly. Look front, look back, kick back. Reverse. Ushiro giddy, my giddy. Same thing. Look before you kick. Kick straight back, forward. Look, kick, kick, and then each direction. Look back and then forward before kicking in that direction. Make sense? Okay, let's get this party started. Run through the basics. Here we'll sweat more. Come on, baby. Hmm? A lot of clean. Okay, all right. Ready? Okay, get it. Slightly wider than shoulder stance, hands on your hips. We're working, uh, stepping in first, say sandachi each. Ni, san, chi, go, go. Moving backwards. Each, ni, san, chi, go, go. Okay, now we're gonna do a second We're gonna go four forward, four backward. I know in dojo we usually do 10 forward, 10 backwards, but if you guys don't have enough space, so we're gonna. We're Confine it to a smaller space. Tight fist, take your finger on your belt, stepping in, straight punch, second dookie, right hand for H, ah, knee, ah, thumb, ah, T, ah, H, ah, knee, ah, thumb, ah, T, ah, T. Again, H, ah, knee, ah, thumb, ah, T, ah, H, ah, knee, ah, thumb. Remember to focus on elbows, tight to the body. Don't let them flare out 
Joran Oizuki. H A N A Z A N A. Heels are like, like deeper. Okay. <laughs> Other way. 
Thank you. Went a little deeper than you planned on. Okay. Coming up. Put your left foot forward, hands on your hips. Let's go up and over each. Me. Sun. Chi. Go. Switch feet. Each. Knee. Sun. Chi. Go. Okay, feet together. Try not to have your toes go up. Try to keep the toes forward so you get a good stretch right in your hips here. Ready? Each. Knee. Sun. Chi. Go, row, switch, touch, two, two, good. Okay, all right, kicks. Neil, do not hit that chair. Move away from it. Okay, hands up. My giddy. Target is your belt knot. Okay, ready, right foot first. H, A, N, A, T, A, T, A, go, A, row, A, switch, A, touch. Chobagetti. H. A. N. A. S. A. G. A. Go. A. R. O. A. S. A. H. A. Go. A. Go. A. Yoko Getty. Stay there. Don't move around. You're going to walk into a kick. Hands up. H. A. N. A. S. A. G. A. Go. A. R. O. Aim for the floating rib on the open gear. Next one, target is in between the belly button and the solar plexus. Okay, for a shield getting back kick, kick with that heel. H, A, N, A, T, A, G, A, G, A, R, O, A, T, A, H, A, A, G, A, G, A, G. Good. Okay, hands up. Okay, my giddy or shield giddy. Kick forward, look back, kick back. H, A, knee, A, T, A, G, A, go, A, go, A, T, A, touch, A, go, A, go, A. Sure, get it, Mike. Okay, look back, kick back, look forward, kick forward. H, A, N, A, T, A, G, A, go, A, go, A, T, A, H, A, Q, A, Q, A. Look. Stand down, my giddy. Belt, chest, face. H. Hands up. The kids karate, we don't do so we're getting. We'll add that. Okay. Again, ready? My getty. Turn the foot. Show my getty. Turn the foot again. Yoko getty. Turn the foot one more. Ushido getty. Don't crash down. Try to land with good bounce. One more time. My getty. Turn the foot. Show my getty. Turn the foot again. Yoko getty. Ushido getty. Good. Okay. Left foot forward, hands up, elbows in. Each knee, sun, chi, go, row. 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 
Ich nie san shi go go the steps. Ich nie san shi go go. 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 Switch steps. Okay, remember roundhouse. It's okay to have the foot. I used to teach knee straight ahead, but then I realized and I, I learned that you're kind of bleeding out power that way. So you want to be able to kick through the target. So it's okay to have the knee slightly past straight ahead, okay? Like 10, 20 degrees. You don't want to go so far, then you're not going to generate enough power because you're going to kick to the end when it's time to landing a target. So you want to go enough, you can extend through the target, but not so much that the kick's not getting its full extension when it's landing. So let me take my back leg out, raise it up, each knee, sun, she, go, switch, the leg, raise it up, each knee, sun, she, go, Switch. Okay, Shiro Giddy, make sure that knee now is pointed directly to the side. The sole of your foot is not pointed at the ground. It's up as much as you can, ready to extend straight into the target. Okay, think about pushing somebody back. The pull and the kick is actually not the push, you want to snap, but have that idea, that mentality that you're going to push them back so your foot's in the right position. Okay, turn your right foot back. Okay, so the, you're going from here, you're going to turn your your back foot, okay, 90 degrees, so it's shaking back in the way that you go. Get your stance, come on, let's go. Okay, raising it up, each, knee, sun, chi, go, switch, leg, turn your back foot back, diagonal, raise it up, each, Knee, sun, she, go. Hey, okay. right. Let's get ready. Okay, so let's get the water break because we only have five minutes left. So, what we went over at the beginning of the class, okay, now we can apply it, right? So, we can apply just practicing from bouncing. Okay, and you can work with a partner, okay, and then have them, and you know, you go forward, have your partner count. Come on, Frank. Have your partner count. So that way I just work their reactions, okay? And they can practice their defense too. As I said before, if you guys want to go full speed, okay, mouthpiece, hand protection is better. Even if you don't have hand protection, mouthpiece is, is essential. Don't practice punching at people's faces full speed without a mouthpiece in, okay? Teeth are too expensive, too valuable. Okay. Nobody wants to get their teeth. Back in. All right, so from here, the first one, Frankie can just count. And I'm gonna step in and punch each my foot. And then Frankie, we we're working, I'm just gonna do that parry. Okay? Pop. Good. But see how his hands are a little retracted right here? This is not the way you want to go into a fight. Not only is it harder to defend, it doesn't look very uh, strong either. So the person's gonna try and overrun you if you want to go into a fight like this. Yeah. So one hand on your chin, the other hand out, okay? So again, Frankie counts. So he knows what's coming, okay? Another problem with his posture, position, yes. You gotta have a good strong stance if you wanna block effectively. Okay, again, so I'm in my high mobile stance. Good, okay? So Frankie's working that too, okay? And make sure you get that hand back online. Don't keep it out here, open up for that gap, okay? Pop, pop, always comes right back to the position. Next one. Frankie is going to, he's going to count, same thing. I'm going to punch Joe down, shoot down. So I'm going to go face, body, and Frankie is going to parry here, and then right here, he's just going to drop his hand down, elbow in front, okay? Blocking with the forearm, but the hand stays facing up. So one, two. So it comes down that center line. The camera angle with this the, uh, computer camera is kind of weird, okay? But, so, it's here, 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 here. It, it doesn't look like it, but you want to make sure that you're protecting the whole abdomen, okay? Don't do it shallow. Let the punch come in here, okay? So, here, 
and then straight down, protecting so your hand should be across your body, so you got the whole abdomen. Okay, so then same thing. Okay, Frankie, come a little bit closer. Frankie's gonna count each. Each. I'm gonna go one, two. That's it. Knee. Sorry, that's your time. Sorry. Eight. Okay, still a little high and narrow in his stance to be blocking. Yeah, you want to be ready to be rooted. Okay, so that's the concept. Now, okay, hands up. Come on, stand in front of your Now, we did this stepping back punch. Okay. For safety's sake, let's not do that because that one's hard to control. We're training with a partner, but I just wanted you guys to understand that. But what we'll do is that same parry that Frankie just did. So from here, okay, Frankie, because he's initiating an attack, he doesn't have to count. He can just attack. He's on music. And I go back. Okay? I come back. Yeah. Okay? And now, so Frankie, Frankie's standing still. I want the person to, do, to really lunge in. Did that, the, the, what we just practiced going into that long stance, okay? So he's expanding, and I'm going expanding backwards, okay? Again, better. Good. And then when we're comfortable with that, okay? Okay, stay in your stance. Okay, when we get comfortable with that, I'm going to transfer from the parry to a gotten. So I'm going to get him in between his one and two. The punch. Oh, you got to get a more extension and deeper in that. Okay. okay, so now I'm here, and then I'm going to pivot, punch, and come back to my high stand. Okay, so we're going to have to readjust because I'm going to be pulling slightly away. So each time, the uh, attacker is going to have to readjust their distance. One more time, and, and back. Okay, next progression. Frankie's going to punch one, two. He's going to do what I did. He's going to punch face, body, stepping in long, so, excuse me, stepping in long, pivot, Boom. Okay, so face body, all right, and then he, I'm going to block, block, and then counter. Okay, so again, get as long, yeah, try to get, and then counter. Yeah, don't lose your base on that Gyakuza view like he did. You don't want to fall into it. It's not a good idea. Okay, sorry, but that was hard. I will like, okay, again, one, two, three. Okay, and then you can add that to the drill where Frankie blocks my gut position, okay? So that's another progression. Go ahead. One, two, three. Good, okay? But he was a little high and narrow to be blocking a strong attack. You gotta, you gotta get that deep, stable bank, uh, base, okay? And then, when you guys are confident with it from a static position, then you do the whole series for moving, okay? Ends up, okay, we're doing the same thing. So Frankie's gonna count whatever he wants. Bang. Okay, I really wanna do my best to react to that count because in real fighting, you don't get to choose when the opportunity presents itself. You have to take that opportunity when it's given to you. Sometimes you create those opportunities, but sometimes you just have to seize them. In fact, for counter-striking, seizing those opportunities when they're present is, is the best approach rather than sitting there and consciously waiting on them, okay? So you just have to relax your mind, okay? Release the brain, don't focus too hard, don't be too hard on yourself. An important aspect of Mushin is accepting that you will make mistakes. You saw there was a couple times I started to go and Frankie hadn't counted yet. That's gonna happen and that's okay. Your goal though is to not let that happen. Your goal is to only react every single time they count and do it with a good, crisp, sharp technique, okay? Quick review, just for you guys to remember. Mobile stance, okay? Is like our Saison stance, feet on the outside of the shoulders, okay? Legs bent, okay? Uh, right now my feet are straight ahead, but if I turn and fight a person who's at 45 degrees, that is exactly our fighting stance. So we wanna keep that muscle memory similar to our basics, we want in basics, we're practicing straight ahead because that's for somebody who surprises you on the street. You have to come in and just get them straight away. You don't have time to get in your fighting stance and go. You need to be able to block and punch from both stances. You wanna have your basics stance, okay? Higodachi is great for just working the techniques. Seisan Dachi is good for working good stable base, legs bent, very effective technique. Uh, Sensei Vinkula has knocked me halfway across this dojo with just this from here, boom. 
However, once the fight is engaged, once you, once you start going in a fighting situation, you don't want to stay squared up. You can react this way, get that person off you, but then you want to pull back. So now my, I have less of my body exposed to the attack. My elbows are hiding, or excuse me, protecting my ribs. I can hide behind my elbows from the stance much easier for this. Okay? So the high mobile stance is feet just outside of the shoulders. Okay? Both feet 45 degrees, nice and loose. Weight on the balls of the feet, heels just barely bouncing off the ground. A low stable stance is Zen Kutsudachi. Okay? Turning the foot up. That's the length of my stance. Make sure that when you do that, toes are in line with your shoulders. So you have good stability that you can push forward, okay? And you can get full rotation. So low stable stance also works for going back. It's the same thing, Zen Kutsudachi, okay? Pivot my feet, okay? This is low stable stance for countering, okay? Or going backwards. This is also a good stance to drop in and kick with your front leg, okay? So you drop into your low stable stance and now you have a kick available for you right there. Roundhouse, side kick, okay? Front kick's gonna be different. You don't wanna turn the hips away. Front kick, dropping back is a cat stance, okay? But in fighting, stance is always fluid. Uh, my, my, one of my sensei's back in Detroit, Master Woods, used to always tell me you should be moving in and out of your stances when fighting. Okay? You don't want to stick to just one stance because if you're fighting uh, a, an opponent who's knowledgeable, they'll find a, a weakness in that stance. Every stance has its weakness. Every stance has its advantage, its positives, and its negatives. And a good savvy fighter is going to pick apart a static stance really fast. If they see you're only in one stance for the whole fight, they're going to find uh, the weaknesses in that stance. They're going to exploit them pretty quickly. So you should be floating in between, more narrow, more stable, weight up and down. Also, weight being distributed from right to left, okay? You don't want to just stay just completely in the center, okay? moving, fluctuating, but you want to find those two extremes and not go past the two extremes. So high mobile, you don't want to be straight, you can't move, okay? My legs are straight, I'm a stick figure, I can't move, okay? If I'm too narrow and too low, I'm also stuck in place. If I'm too wide and too low, you see the WKF style karate fighters, they do this to get that extra extension on the point. All you have to do is ride over the top of them, stick them when they're down low, sweep, kick, okay? I'm not saying that those guys can't fight, they can, they're very mobile and they're very explosive and they get a lot of extension but they're leaving themselves exposed at this type of extension. You're really putting yourself out there. Pulling back is harder. Your knee is almost off the ground. If you get hit and you're down like this, it's a bad scene, okay? So you have to be able to recover at any stance. So this is the extreme I would go. I can advance my weight forward on that front leg, get more power in my technique, or to push through to advance with another technique that is possible. But when working on stances, always, Think about balance. You want to be balanced, able to move, change directions as quickly as possible within those two extremes, not going too high or too low, too narrow, too wide, and don't keep the weight static. It should be constantly shifting back. All right, let's play it up. Come on, Frankie. Sit up straight. Watch your eyes. So. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Get it. Hey! Let's get it. Great.